On 5th August 2016, at 11pm, an experienced breeder realised that his 64th day pregnant poodle was having difficulty giving birth. As a breeder in the midst of the current economic recession, having a dog and a pup's die is an absolute disaster. He called Dr. Singh for an emergency caesarean section. What's going to happen? When is a caesarean section needed? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets, where veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. At 12am, while waiting outside Topayo Vets for Dr. Singh, the poodle gave birth to a puppy. Now, the breeder is in a dilemma. To continue with the caesarean section, or to go home and let the poodle give birth naturally. The breeder decided to go on with the caesarean section. The two remaining puppies were taken out during the caesarean section, but one of them died. To prevent both the dam and the puppies from dying, we need to know when an emergency caesarean section is needed. An emergency caesarean section is usually needed when certain problems arise, such as when the pelvic canal is too narrow, when the pups are overdue, or when the dog has dystocia. What is dystochia? Dystochia is difficulty in giving birth. Some symptoms of dystochia are when contractions occur for more than 30 minutes but no pups are exposed and discharge of blood or a greenish black pigment from the vagina. There are two types of caesarean sections. Firstly, we have the elective caesarean section. Secondly, we have the emergency caesarean section. To know when to get a caesarean section, we need to know when a dog usually gives birth. Dr. Singh from Topio Vets feels that the gestation period is usually 59 to 63 days. After searching Google for gestation period in dogs, I found some sources which states the range of dates where dogs are expected to give birth. Here are some of the other results. In this case, the 64th day pregnant poodle required a caesarean section due to dystochia. Its placenta had melted away into a greenish black pigment and an emergency caesarean section was required to save both the pups and the mother. There have been other cases of caesarean sections in Topayo Vets, such as a caesarean section of a 63rd day pregnant Dashan, which had a caesarean section as it did not give birth 3 hours after its rectal temperature had dropped, which indicated that it was about to give birth. Four pups were taken out and all the puppies and the dam survived. There was another Dashan that required a caesarean section. The placenta had melted and upon incision, a greenish black fluid flowed out instead of the normal colourless water bag. Three puppies were taken out, however, only one had survived but was already on the brink of death. However, both the mother and the puppy recovered eventually. Lastly, we have this case of a 15 day pregnant Maltese. A dead puppy had been born and was decomposed. Thus, an emergency caesarean section was needed to save them and the remaining puppies' lives. This is a textbook. This is a textbook approach. Yeah. This is what the textbook will tell you what to do. Okay. Insi incise uterus. Write down the time. Increase. Increase to five. Increase to four. Four first. Yeah. Okay. This is a textbook approach. First one should come out. Right? Okay, first thing for you to Where 
på det och det är inte då blir det. The gestation period of the dogs in this video are all within the range of 58 to 65 days. To conclude, an elective caesarean section should be conducted after 58 days of pregnancy. However, if your dog has not given birth after 65 days of pregnancy, an emergency caesarean section should be done so immediately. This video was filmed in Topayo Vets. For more information, you can call one of these numbers or visit one of the websites. Thank you for your kind attention.